Slip-on flanges. Slip-on flanges, also known as hubbed flanges, have a hub with a very low profile. This type of flange is usually connected to a pipe by one or two fillet welds, one outside the flange and one inside the flange, it is however possible to use only a single weld. Slip-on flanges are produced in many sizes and favored for lower pressure applications, ASME class less than or equal to 600. A slip-on flange's bore size, internal diameter, is larger than that of the connecting pipe, which allows it to slide slash slip onto the pipe, slip onto the pipe. There is no full penetration weld between the pipe and the flange, thus there are limitations for its usage due to lower weld integrity. However, if a welding neck flange cannot be used due to space limitations, a slip-on flange may be a suitable alternative. Advantages of slip-on flanges relate to lower procurement costs, less required skill for making the weld, lower accuracy requirement for pipe cutting, and no weld preparation requirements for a pipe end weld. Limitations for slip-on flanges relate to The use of two welds instead of one, usually. Reduced mechanical strength, welding neck flanges are 30% stronger. Unsuitability for cyclic loading. Inability to perform some non-destructive tests on welds. Unavailable in 2.5 inch size and over in ASME class 1500. Unavailable in all sizes in ASME class 2500. Generally not used above ASME class 600. Although cheaper than a welding neck flange, there is little price difference if two welds are performed and both must be checked using non-destructive testing techniques. Non-destructive testing NDT, techniques There are no specific NDT techniques used in conjunction with slip-on flanges. If the slip-on flange is fillet welded, then a dye penetrant test may be performed on the weld. A visual inspection of the mating faces and pipe is possible. ASME standards The standards ASME B16.5 and ASME B31.3 specify the requirements for slip-on flange installation, maintenance, and testing.